All right, so listen. Stuff like this, this is unacceptable. And if you ever see belligerent people yelling and condemning people on the side of the street, calling themselves Israelites, I just want to let you know they do not represent all of us. Do not get it confused, but let me explain. These people are hurt men and have become vindictive because of the oppression that our people go through, right? But what they don't understand is vengeance is not theirs. From the community rule, it reads, I will pay to no man the reward of evil. I will pursue him with goodness. For judgment of all the living is with who? Elohim. And it is he who will render to man his reward, right? Proverbs 24, 29. Say not, I will do so to him as he have done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. So it ain't your job to do to him what he did to you. He hung you from trees and shot babies out your wife's stomach. He took your toddlers and fed them to alligators. He took your strongest man and raped them in front of the whole plantation. But you think this what you want to do to him? But I know y'all be doing stuff like this for entertainment, ain't it? I'm talking about men be rejoicing every time they embarrass somebody on the side of the street. Proverbs 24 and 17. Rejoice not when thine enemy fall, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumble. So don't rejoice when nobody fall, not your enemy, not your homeboy, not your mama, nobody. Matter of fact, what Israelites supposed to be doing in the land of their captivity is repenting. Why? Because the reason why the oppression is going on is because something we have to fix. Nobody else. So calling everybody a heathen, talking about how they going to die or you condemning them is not going to fix your problems. But this is what you should be doing. For King 8 and 4 to 7, yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land where they were carried captives, right? And repent and make supplication unto you in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned, we have done perversely, we have committed wickedness. So really, you're supposed to be in a state of repentance, right? Not in a state of pride. We don't operate in pride. That's a bad representation of what Israel is. Psalms 25 and 9. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. So anybody operating outside of the spirit of meekness, they are not being taught by the Most High. They are not in representation of the Most High. Keeping the commandments of the Most High will have you portrayed in a different way than that. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is the wise and understanding people. So people should be able to...